He's asking, Reuters reported that the Afghan Taliban has stopped the Pakistani army from any further fence building along the border in an unverified video with an unverified video of the Taliban confiscating rolls of barbed wire. The Pakistani army refused comment. Any thoughts? Have you, did you see this news? Because this reminds me of something that, that is happening on the Afghan and Iran border as well. No, I've been very busy doing other stuff. I've kind of been in a news uh, hole. Okay. So I haven't, <laughs> out of the loop. I haven't seen the specific news, but we did see the news that the Taliban and the Iranian uh, armed forces had some issues with the farmers at the border of Iran and Afghanistan, right? You, you remember that, right? Mm -hmm. So, and the Iranian government was kind of like whitewashing the whole situation as if like nothing happened, even though there was a shootout, right? And they were like, oh, it was just a mis miscommunication. I feel like people don't want to get, <laughs> people like are letting the Taliban just like, they're scared of like messing with the Taliban. They're like, nobody <laughs> nobody right now has the appetite <laughs> to get into conflict with the taliban and the taliban is like so bad like the talibani people they're not used to like not fighting <laughs> they're like they're like like what are we do? like i don't know if you guys understand how big of how important part of our ideology this is right there were some taliban members that they, that they were having a, a crisis like a mental crisis because they were worried that they don't get to die right they were like oh crap the war is over like i missed my chance right and there were commanders they're telling them to like it's chill we're gonna have to, we're gonna probably have there's probably gonna be fight like <laughs> we're gonna have opportunities to have war right like and they're not really good at managing stuff they're just like I think it's like kind of in their ideological DNA to just to look for fights. <laughs> I don't know. Right? They're like, they're there for martyrdom, right? Um, and it's just like, I think like Iran and Pakistan sometimes like, okay, so the central authority in, in Taliban, which is like, there's multiple central authorities, but at least some of them, they want to, to stop fighting and manage the country right now. And they don't know how. And everybody that knew just left. Like Taliban just knows how to fight. They don't know how to manage, right? So they're like, can we, oh yeah, like half of the people who know how to do it are women uh, and they don't want them involved. And the other half just left. So they're like, how do we do this? What is, <laughs> like, can we, like, can we go back to fighting? Can, <laughs> can US come back? <laughs> no, but, but they're like picking fights with like farmers in their Iran border. Like Iran and Pakistan, they want like this fight to stop, right? And they're like, the Talib, like the central authority from Kabul, whoever is gets to be the central authority, um, is like trying to get the, all these other Taliban to stop fighting. But all the Taliban's like, there's no real Taliban, right? Like, who's the actual Taliban? They're not like, they're not always like listening to what the central, like the people in Doha or people in Kabul or people in Gandahar are saying. They're doing their own thing, like they always did, right? So you can't really control all these other Taliban. And if they see something they don't like at the border of Iran or the border of Pakistan, they might be just like, they might just fight. They just pick up, pick up their guns and start shooting, right? And both the Taliban in Kabul are like, God damn, like stop. Like they hear, like they don't know, I think, right? And also Pakistan is like, God, like if we get into a fight at the borders, like this is going to completely, Iran also like, um, is going to be, they, they're really worried about the integrity of the borders. And I don't, I, I just, it's just so interesting to see how the priorities of the people who are in charge are not necessarily in line with the people who are on the ground, right? So that's very interesting, I think, yeah. Well, but again, we don't know about the details point, of this news, so this is just guessing. Yeah, yeah but go along that point, it's really interesting because I've seen some articles talking about how the Taliban really wants to end like a migration crisis. They don't want their borders to be porous. They want people to stay because it one gives them a sense of authority and two, they need people to help actually run this country. Right. So it's interesting that they would be, I mean, if, yeah, what this is seen in this video is um, what it looks like that they would be assisting making the border more porous.
That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's this contradictory. Is kind of scary. No, well, I mean, like you said, oh, there isn't what, a consistent, there, there isn't consistency. So this is kind of what we're in store for. But actually, what? Yeah, go on. Let's finish. Sorry. Oh, I mean, I do know that the Pakistani army, like, is um, taking bribes from people who should have visas that just let them through the country, you know, and or they'll shoot people, you know, in mm -hmm. trying to get through to Pakistan. But those are like ordinary civilians, not Taliban's. You know, like, so here's the thing. I'm more aware of the issues at the Afghan-Iran border, right? And they'd be worried. Like, people are, like, really worried. But I can I can imagine that the worries at the Afghanistan-Pakistan border is even way bigger, right? Especially because Taliban is a cross-border, like, it's a border-free ideology, right at the borders like on both sides of the borders of pakistan and afghanistan this is why i'm telling you why the isi is in is working against the interests of pakistan when they when they promote for ideological reasons when they for ideological and for anti-indian reasons they support the taliban right so for anti-indian reason and ideological reasons they support the taliban but when it comes to the best interests of the integrity of the borders of pakistan the worst thing you could do is to support the taliban especially because they are you know they're on both on both sides of the goddamn border like there's nothing there's no more destructive thing you could do to the to the integrity of the Pakistani border than supporting the Taliban, which also again, it's not a surprise that ISI's, you know, Pakistan is not a you know. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into. It. Yeah, I mean the ISI, it is absolutely like diabolical what they're willing to do in their pursuit of screwing with India. It's freaking mm. insane. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.